In addition to the web client, Be In Touch offers a helpful mobile app, giving you access to your CRM data from the comfort of your phone. Be In Touch's mobile app can be downloaded from the iTunes Store for iOS devices or the Google Play Store for Android devices. The mobile app uses the same login and password information as the Be In Touch website. Once you log into the Be In Touch mobile app, you can always access the menu by swiping to the right or tapping the icon in the upper left corner of the screen. The default screen when you first open the app is My Stats, which will display various monthly stats for your business. These stats will compare the current month with the previous month and the current year with the previous year. This information is separated into three sections. Statistic indications will give you a heads up about funded and canceled loans as well as new leads. Top leads will break down these leads by the top five sources, filtered either by month or year. Lead conversions can help you visualize how your leads are progressing through your pipeline. You may have noticed an icon in the upper left corner of the lead conversion section. This filter button will help focus the results here by limiting data to specific sources, date ranges, and keywords. Anytime you see this button, you can filter the results of whatever tool you are using in the app. You can always return to this screen from the left menu by tapping My Stats. When you open the left menu, the topmost option is a magnifying glass. You can search your client, partner, and recruitment records for matching criteria. The three-dot button to the right of a record is the Actions menu. Tapping this will allow you to perform several actions for that record, including contacting them by phone, text, email, postcard, or video message. You can also add CRM tracker notes for your own reference. If you choose to contact the client by email, an in-app email client will open. You can now create and send your emails directly from the Be In Touch app. The plus sign buttons to the right can be used to add recipients from your contacts list, and the attach option can be used to add files to be sent with the email. You can tap choose from documents to search from your Be In Touch documents library or tap Choose from Gallery to search from your phone's file storage. This way, you can send pictures, PDF files, or other files to your clients and partners from within the app. You can also send SMS text messages from within the Be In Touch app if you have the Be In Touch call and text module active for your account. As with emails, you can use the Attach option to add files to send with the message. Using the checkboxes, you can opt to send a copy of the message as an email and whether to send a text to just the borrower or the listing agent. Below, you can enter your text message to be sent. If you send similar messages frequently, you can use the Add as Template button above to save your message for reuse later. You can then use the Template option in future messages to copy the material you saved. The Send Postcard option in the Actions menu allows you to send actual paper postcards to your clients directly from the app. You'll need to have the Be In Touch Mail module active for your account to use this service. You can choose from several pre-made postcard images. Once you do, you can choose to send a card to the borrower, co-borrower, or both. Below, you can enter whatever text you'd like to appear on the card. When you're ready to send the postcard, hit Confirm at the top of the screen. You can also send customized video messages to your clients by tapping Send Video Message in the Actions menu. These can be sent via SMS, email, or both. When you click the Video plus sign button, you'll be able to choose from video messages you've already recorded or record a new one from your mobile device. Once you've created the video, you can add a message below and attach any other files as with the email or SMS features. When ready, just hit send above. You can instead use send test if you'd like to see it yourself before sending it to the client. Before we look inside a record, let's go over how to create one. New records can be added manually from the left menu by tapping add contact. 
each record must have a type selected being either a client, partner, or recruiting. Contacts can be assigned to groups and added to the marketing sequence using the menus below. Specific campaigns can be started for the new contact using the Start Campaign menu. The new record can be run against any existing marketing campaign triggers by checking the Enable Marketing Triggers box. Any amount of information can be added in the following fields. Additional fields will become available once a record has been saved. The new record will be added to the database once you tap the Save button at the top of the screen. Wherever a contact is accessed in the BNTouch mobile app, it can be opened by tapping the contact's name. Once a record is open, you can edit information by tapping a field. Record information is separated into several subsections that you can access from the top bar, including contact info, system details, borrower information, mortgage options, and more. You can hold and swipe from left to right to access more options. If you change or add anything, remember to tap Save Changes at the top of the record to lock them in and update the record. At the bottom of each record, additional options for the record will be available. All the record data we've gone over so far is in the Info section. Tracker will show all communication with the contact. New notes and communication with the contact can be added to the record using the Add Event button above. The Contacts section gives you the option of adding clients, partners, and staff to a contacts list. Information will populate here from the corresponding record fields in the Info section. You can save the record to your contacts list using the Save button above, or you can assign a record to another user using the Assign To button. Participants will list any linked partners in a client record or assigned clients in a partner record. New participants can be added using the Select link to the right. These participants can be called, texted, emailed, or changed by tapping the Actions menu. You can also use the checkboxes to the left of these participants and the link above the list to send emails to all selected participants. More record information can be found by tapping the arrow icons in the lower corners of the screen. Processing can be used to track and update client records as they progress through the in-processing stage of the mortgage pipeline. Dates can be selected by tapping a field, and comments can be added for each stage. Tasks will show any tasks that have been linked to a record. New tasks can be created from here using the Add Task button at the top. These will automatically be linked with the current record. Docs will show any documents involving this record, including those the client or partner has submitted and those that you have requested of them. New documents can be added easily by tapping Add Documents at the top of the screen. You can then find a file on your mobile device or take a photo using your device's camera. Campaigns will list any campaigns that are currently active for the record. You can pause or stop these campaigns using the Actions menu to the right and you can start new campaigns for the record using the Start Campaign button above the list. There, you can choose a campaign from the drop-down menu and select a date for the campaign to start. Now that we've explored a contact record in depth, let's return to the left menu. Any records that have not been opened yet in the web version of Be In Touch will appear in the New Records section of the left menu. A red notification number will display how many new records are available. These can be records of any type, including client, partner, and recruiting. Records can be opened by tapping them, and they can be edited just like new records. You can also use the Actions menu for these records, just like elsewhere in the app. Similarly, the Last Records option in the left menu will display the last 20 records that have been opened in your account. These can also be records of any type, can be opened and edited just like new records, and can be contacted using the Actions menu. Now that you know how to open, add, and edit records, let's look at the Dashboard feature. You can access it anytime by opening the menu and tapping Dashboard. This section provides a general summary of your CRM for the current day. 
the bottom of the dashboard screen, you'll see four options starting with tasks. Current tasks will be listed first, but you can also see your missed tasks and to-do items using the options at the top of the screen. Tasks can be tapped to view more details and edit any information. The actions menu for each task can be used to mark them as done or cancel them. You can add new tasks at any time using the Add Task button above the current tasks list. Missed tasks will show you tasks that have passed their listed date without being marked as done. The To Do list will show any pending objectives from the Be In Touch dashboard. You can add new To Do items using the Add Entry button, and you can quickly mark items as done or cancel them using the checkboxes to the left and the buttons above the list. In the Alerts section, you can check whether any clients have upcoming birthdays or loan anniversaries. The Refinance Monitor features will show any clients that could benefit from a rate refinance. As before, you can tap any of these clients to open their records or use the Actions menu to contact them. In the Campaigns section, you'll see some general stats about your business's ongoing campaigns. If Safe Mode is enabled, any pending marketing campaigns will display below, and you can use the Actions menu to the right of a campaign to start or cancel it. Lastly, the Assignments section will show any pending assignments to or from your partners. From this list, you can use the checkboxes to the left and the buttons above the list to accept, deny, or cancel any incoming or outgoing assignments. You can also see any previous assignments in the Assignment History list. The My Pipeline option in the left menu can show you the number of clients, partners, and other staff members in each step of the mortgage process pipeline. These numbers match those in the mortgages, partnerships, and recruiting databases in your CRM. Additionally, you can tap any of the pipeline steps to see a list of records in that step of the pipeline. You can then open the records by tapping them or contact them using the Actions menu to the right. Similar to the pipeline view, you can use the In Processing option in the left menu to quickly see an overview of your various client records that are currently in processing. In the Records section, you can see basic information for clients in each stage of processing. These can be navigated using the options above the list. In the Reports section, you can view a helpful summary report of your in processing clients. You can set the statistics below to show either total loan amounts or the number of applicable records using the options above the list. My Messages in the left menu will show any messages you have received, including from assignments, portal sites, leads from web forms, or elsewhere. If the message has an assigned record, it can be opened by tapping the message. The SMS option in the left menu functions like your text message inbox on your phone, but this one handles just your communication through the BN Touch app. If you have received any SMS text messages in response to those you send from the app, they will be listed here. You can view either all received messages or only unread ones by using the buttons above the list. You can send, reply, and attach files to the SMS messages here, just like you would from the Actions menu elsewhere in the app. In the Latest Events option in the left menu, you can view a list of events from the tracker in your CRM. Events will be sorted by how many days have passed since they were created, and you can easily navigate these sections using the options above the list. You may have noticed a friendly figure in the upper right corner of your screen throughout the Be In Touch app. This is Maya, your mortgage AI assistant, and she is here to help you however she can. You can ask her questions about your account, the CRM, or the mortgage industry. You can even ask her to help you with various tasks in your CRM. For example, you could ask her to remind me to call Olivia tomorrow. Maya will ask for any additional information necessary then she'll create a reminder for you. Maya is learning more and more ways to help you, so be sure to ask her if you need a hand. 
The notification settings can be changed in the Settings section of the left menu. Tap the checkbox to enable or disable notifications for any of the listed options. These preferences can be saved by tapping the Save button above. To contact Be In Touch for support, tap the Submit Feedback button in the left menu. Any comments and suggestions can be submitted here to our support and development team.